guys, I'm back with another travel vlog. If you're new here, I'm Joali Gloria. I make travel vlogs and this time I'm in Melbourne, which is known to be the coffee capital of the world and also the sporting capital of Australia. We're staying in Fitzroy, which is known to be a trendy and sensual area. As soon as I arrived to our Airbnb, I had a little package waiting for me from St. Agni, which is an amazing Australian label. Be sure to check them out. Good morning from Melbourne. I am obsessed with this Airbnb. I know I already showed some content of what it looks like, but oh, it is so good. It's like basically a brownstone, or what I would consider like a brownstone building in New York. And we have the entire building, which is really cool. I'll link everything that I'm doing on this trip below. And I might even create like a Google Doc. And I do have a Google Maps list too that you might want to check out for Australia. But today we're going to go get some croissants. It is really windy though. Like... It's crazy because we were just in the Great Barrier Reef. Make sure to watch that video. The weather was amazing and we get to Melbourne and it just is quite shit. But anyways, we're going to go get croissants. Then we're going to go do our nails and then explore the city. So come with us. Our first day in Melbourne, the weather was so terrible, but honestly, it was good to see Melbourne in its true light. The rest of the days were blue skies and really nice. We wanted to explore the central city, so we stopped by Lune Croissants in the downtown area. The line was quite long, and with the harsh weather, it was honestly so tough standing in line, but it was well worth it. During our stroll, we made it to the National Gallery of Victoria, which is one of the oldest public art galleries in Australia. It's over 160 years old, and it carries pieces from Picasso, Monet, and a vast variety of indigenous Australian art too. tried out Chin Chin, which is a super popular restaurant. I just had to see what the hype was about. Honestly, I was a little disappointed. The food was okay. I thought it was gonna be like a 10 out of 10. I'm rating it a seven out of 10. The atmosphere, we were seated downstairs, which I guess was part of the vibe, wasn't my favorite. And it was a little bit pricey, so I'm not sure I would recommend this to everyone. next morning we headed to Brecky in Fitzroy we went to Archie's I definitely recommend it if you are in the area though the line is quite long surprised my mom's sister and I with some tickets to a footy game which was really cool to see. It was located at the Melbourne Cricket Ground Centre which is known to be the sporting capital of Australia. They host games for the Australian Open Tennis, the Melbourne Cup which is a world famous horse race and then obviously the Australian rules football matches. It's a huge part of the culture so if you can get a ticket to a game I highly recommend you go and watch one. Holy crap, you guys, rain and La Rue blew me away. If you are looking for a really nice dinner, make sure to book this. I cannot recommend this place enough. I will say, even though I'm rating this a 10 out of 10, I had the absolute worst service. Because we were coming from a game, the server thought we were underdressed and he almost didn't seat us. So dress up if you are planning to go. 
I'm so grateful that we were able to see Melbourne while it was warm because it really changed the experience. It's such a culturally diverse city and there's so much to see and it just sucks that it does get quite cold. So maybe if you are planning a trip to Melbourne, save it until it gets to warmer days. My favorite restaurant on the trip was Lagoon Dining. They do like an Asian twist and I think they have like a few different Asian foods all mixed into one menu. It's amazing. Def go visit. <laughs> second half of our Melbourne trip, we actually stayed with Angus's sister who lives in Melbourne and it was so special because we got to spend some time with her, her partner and her beautiful baby. <laughs> One of Angus's home friends was getting married during this trip, so you'll see us enjoying ourselves with a bunch of his home friends towards the end of this video. I hope you guys enjoyed the content. <laughs> I have like two cameras going at the same time, but I'm getting ready to go to a wedding and I'm gonna be wearing a beautiful sir dress. So get ready with me. So here she is. She's a long sleeve. We're in Melbourne. So I figured it was gonna be cold because it's like the end of winter, early spring here. And it's not, it's actually so hot outside. So great. <laughs> To get used to the skin, now I can't stop getting naked. When it's being you stop feeling boring. I'm like a fucking weird. Okay, so I could wear two types of earrings. I could either wear this one, which is just like really subtle, which I kind of feel like I should go with because I'm a racial missing boot, or I could add a bit of length and go with this earring. So, ugh, this is hard. I'm gonna go with these because they're more subtle. I'm already showing boobs and we want to look classy. Okay, so here's the final fit. I am so in love with this dress. Like I just feel very comfortable and I don't know. It's just a beautiful dress. Definitely go get it.
again for watching my video. If you enjoyed it, please hit that like button and subscribe for more travel guides. I'll see you guys in the next one. Thank you.